Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to talk about uh, failures make you more attractive and believable, not the opposite. Okay, so this is kind of like a major criticism with uh, the like school system in the West, how they teach you to like memorize facts and your grade is essentially based on how well you have memorized those facts and essentially regurgitated them on some test by picking the right answer. The more you get right, the better your grade is, and the more you get wrong, the worse. Okay, good students are essentially the ones who memorize stuff the best. So basically what this does is it makes us um, kind of shy away from anything that would be seen as failure, right? We kind of associate like getting something wrong with like failing at something, right? Now, that's obviously not good, right? Anybody who's ever worked in sales or worked in business, I mean, you know that like not everybody is going to buy from you. Not every potential customer that you talk to is going to buy. In fact, in this, like let's take sales for example, um, you know, you could talk to a dozen people, you could talk to 20 people, and nobody buys, right? But that 21st person, they buy and they're a big customer and like maybe the next five people buy from you right away, right? So like you have to understand that it's not so much like not everything depends on you. Like you're not, you'll, you'll never be so good. Your business will never be so good. Your website will never be so good. Your product, your service, whatever, that everybody is going to buy from you and you're going to live in this like magical fairyland where like you get 100% on your test. That's just not going to happen. Okay, that's not the way the world works. So don't, and, and furthermore, like, let's get back to the point how failures make you more attractive and believable. When we go over the copywriting um, section of this course, you'll see that like the way copy is written and by for those of you who don't know what copy is it's like just words essentially on a website that are designed to get the user to buy something right you want to take them through an emotional roller coaster right and in order to do that you have to start out you have to give people your backstory and tell them how you tried how you used to like really suck at something right it used to be really bad right like you know if it's like making money or losing weight like i used to be 300 pounds and I was depressed and I ate pizza all the time and I drank six beers a night and I didn't know what I was going to do, right? And like you get people emotionally involved in your story so that when you drop the solution on them, they're like, oh my God, like, you know, they're emotionally invested, right? And without, without essentially those failures, nobody's going to be emotionally invested in you, right? That's why every single story, like every movie that got some kind of conflict in it, where like the status quo is interrupted and the hero like has some problem that he's got to overcome. Those are the good movies, right? The good stories where there's a problem that like, you know, you got to fix, right? So don't worry about any of your past failures and like what they might mean to you, like what they imply, because they're not, it's, it's not bad, right? Like every failure just gets you closer to your next success. It's like in sales, like I said earlier, right? You could talk to 20 people or 50 people or a hundred people. Everybody tells you no, no, no. And then that hundred and first one, they say yes. And boom, that's it. Your life changes. You know, there's countless stories of people who went to like 20 publishers and they all told them no. And then the 21st publisher and boom, now they've got some bestseller, right? You just have to understand that like people like nobody can relate to the guy who's like perfect or the girl who's like perfect and has never done anything wrong. He's like never like messed up in any way. Like we want to see the transformation, right? Like the best way to, you know, get famous or get known for something is to be, you know, let's say really fat, for example, or really obese. And then boom, you lose all the weight. You have a perfect body. Everybody wants to know what you did, right? But if you tell them, oh, I was an athlete in college and oh, I did this and oh, I did that. And I've just been fit forever. People are like, yeah, okay, fine, good, good for you. Like, good luck selling your course. But if you started out as 500 pounds, people are like, oh my God, how did you make that transformation? It just gets them much more emotionally invested, right? And that could be with whatever you're trying to sell. Okay. Now, when when we get into the actual course creation itself, you'll see that we're selling, you know, because we're establishing you as an expert, we need to have that transformation and that backstory because it will help you with. Um, whatever you're trying to sell. Okay. Hope that made sense. I'm on my second cup of coffee. So yeah.
good stuff.